Hello YouTube. Finally made it out for my first wild camp. Forecast is for 32 degrees Fahrenheit tonight so it could be a bit chilly. Uh, being this close to the water uh, I should stay a little bit warmer. I can't focus enough but right out there there is a muskrat swimming. He uh, has his home in the bank right over there and uh, you don't seem to pay me much mind. Sitting here for 45 minutes just taking a rest. Um, there's my tent over there. But down below me is uh, blueberry bushes and uh, they have blossoms on them. White blossoms. It's a good sign. Even with our late spring and frost. Let's see if I can zoom in on that little muskrat there. He's swimming there. That's him right off my fingertip. I just got a cheap little Canon camera here that I use and so it's fun to watch him now. He swims at speed right up to the bank and then just he's gone. He's in the bank and he must be feeding on something out there. Oh, a little stiff, but we'll get up and show you around the place if I don't fall in the drink. Oh. Good advantage about a hemlock <laughs> is you can pitch it in some very <laughs> odd places. You know, I mean, how else could you get a chair there? And, oh, I mean, comfortable and what a view. Well I'm not exactly where I thought I'd be but I'm close. I had checked out that point uh, in the distance off over here and uh, there's been a little more activity out there that spot than I care to see. This is uh, power company owned property so it's open to the public. I'm allowed to camp here but uh, I just, you know, I'm going to give those people some distance in case they do show up. Ah, here's my tent. Got a nice, I checked out this birch. Uh, a lot of our birch are birch miter disease and they're dying as you can see on the ground up there on the ridge. And so you've got to be careful, check for dying limbs and dead limbs. Um, but as you can see, uh, I got a nice view in the morning here, looking out my door. Door is facing here. As always, my uh, reuse of the blue mats. There's a wood tick right there on my screen. That's, uh, you know, it's like anything else. Mother Nature challenges us. Whoops. And uh, mosquitoes, midges, wherever you go, you got something. There's a little peek inside. I got my uh, big Agnes. I get 20 degrees supposedly with the bag, and then I have some uh, Mariano wool top there to sleep in if need be. I got a, I use this bicycling, but it's just a little pearl azumi beanie to keep my bald head uh, <laughs> from getting frosted. But uh, I can tuck up right in there and it has a good neck guard and it's a, it's a good sleeping bag. I got an X-Ped insulated pad underneath there. And, uh, well, I got my knife and this year I decided to go to this uh, marine air horn in case I get something uh, we have black bear here and so if something gets rustling around here in the night I'm gonna use this horn people use bear spray but if you're in the tent <laughs> it's not gonna do you much good so and I got new scientists to read Petzl headlamp with uh, my old Petzl as a backup. In case it gets real cold, I'll use this uh, 
use this space blanket here. Throw a little extra on, but I think I'm going to be just fine. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, it's 66 degrees Fahrenheit right now. We got high pressure. Um, I use my little barometer temperature gauge, um, and it's got wind speed also. And there's my trusty kayak brought me up here. I'm about, uh, oh, four miles or better from my put-in point, and downstream is that way. It's a beautiful spot here. I'll show you what I do here for, uh, for my food. Just to, uh, I'm just on a overnighter, but, uh, see my food hanging up there in the tree, and, um, it's uh, it's just a precaution, you know. You just don't want to have stuff too darn close, and it just begs begs trouble. So it's just best to hang your hang your stuff. And what it is is. It's a mesh bag, metal mesh, stainless steel mesh, hanging with a carabiner and off a small limb. Uh, bears are agile. They can climb that tree and get out on that limb, but when it gets that fine on the end, it's not going to support them. And then if it's uh, flying squirrels or raccoons, that mesh bag will hold everything up out of the way. It's a little closer than I'd like it to be to my tent, my campsite, but uh, it should work out okay. Ideally you'd want that uh, a bit further, but it should work out fine. I'm not going to make a fire tonight. Our fire danger had been high, and so I got my, my little gas stove, and I also got my little alcohol uh, stove with me. Um, I'm not going to cook a lot. I got just some instant uh, red potatoes that I like and uh, whatnot. Here comes a boat downstream. Every now and then, you know, no matter where you go, you uh, <laughs> you got to get pretty far away to get away from this. It's a dirty shame. But all that will quiet down. Well, it's certainly not my way of travel. No exercise, burning petrol. Uh, it's just not the way I care to go. So anyway, I'm gonna. It's uh, it's about ten to five, and so I'm gonna rest a bit more in my hammock. Um, and uh, I got a cover for my hatch of my kayak. I brought my fishing pole along, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to fish. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm satisfied just sitting here watching that uh, muskrat come in and out of the bank, listening to the birds. And once dusk hits, there will be no more power boats. And I should hear owls tonight and coyotes uh, across the river right here. That's Wisconsin. And that's a really uh, wild area over there on that side of the river. And so I should, should hear some coyotes and owls tonight. Looking forward to that. And just have a quiet night, a little breakfast in the morning, and uh, just take my time and pack things up and, and head for home on Sunday to 
today's Saturday. If it uh, was during the week, there wouldn't be nearly any boat activity out here. It's pretty quiet there. Goes that little muskrat again. It's fun to watch. Nature just, you know, they put up with those power boats. I give them credit. Yeah, it's a beautiful spot. Once the boats go, it's quiet. Real quiet. Hear the birds. Seen kingfishers coming up. Geese. Geese already got the little ones out on the water. It, uh, it's hard to believe, but uh, this was ice <laughs> a month ago. There was ice on the edges here a month ago. Yeah. But all goes on. So, should have a pretty good night, and uh, I'll try to give you a little film in the morning and let you know how I made out. Nice to be out, guys. Take care.